is Andrew Gold with Lonely Boy. Talking of gold and other metals, right now we are going to be looking at one of the biggest jewellery and silver fairs north of England. And, you know, as, you know, the uh, the north, I would say, is the silver, um, um, it's the capital of England when it comes to jewellery. And uh, the Goldsmith North's annual event is taking place at Cutler's Hall, where over 60 makers and experts will be showing and selling their work. So one of them is Brett Payne, who uh, makes tableware and is also one of the artists who has designed the amazing sculpture that's outside Sheffield Station called Cutting Edge. And Brett joins me now. Hello. Hello, Sile. Nice How? to see you. Nice to see you as well. I'm intrigued about the sculpture that we have outside Sheffield Station, Cutting Edge. For anyone who's never seen it, how would you describe it? Well, it's uh, I think it's uh, about 150 metres long. Um, it's made of stainless steel. It took, uh, I was part of a team, there were two uh, colleagues with me, there were three of us. It took us about uh, three or four years to design and make it. Um, it stands, I believe, 4.5 metres high at the station end and one metre high at the other end. And you can walk up alongside it and touch it and uh, see your reflection in it and listen to the water flowing over it. That is incredible. That Do you know, when you had it up, OK, it's up at the station now, you look back, what are you thinking? Actually, I <laughs> I love it. I really do like it, actually. it w But when it first went up, I have to say, when I first saw it, it was a huge sense of relief. You work <laughs> on something that big for that long and you're at the mercy. You put it in the public domain and the public have every right to criticise it, to love it or hate mm. it. And you just don't know. And um, we put it up and I'm really, we were really gratified. I think the public took it to their hearts. They yes. love it. They look after it. And that's, that's fantastic. That's what you need you know when you work you just give it out to everybody now when we're uh, talking about um goldsmith north you're the director um it uh, says here them. yeah one of them one of, <laughs> tell us about how you know it all began and why you wanted to be part of it well, Goldsmith North is, I think, an initiative that was born here in Sheffield. We, we, we dreamed this concept up in Sheffield because Sheffield, as you were saying at the beginning, is the centre, certainly of silversmithing mm. in the UK. And I think if you go around the world and you say to people, what is Sheffield famous for? Yes, steel, but also it's silver. And they know the silverware that came out of Sheffield. And um, we just feel that this city is so well known for the things that it makes mm. but the things that it makes go out to the rest of the world they're not we don't see them enough in Sheffield itself so we thought let's put together a show at the Cutlers Hall where else that you that the people of Sheffield and the north of England can come and see mm. and just enjoy and just wallow in the kind of amazing skills and talents that we have here and what we make mm. are you going to have a store there yeah so I'll have some of my work there. Um, there's going to be, I think as you said it, there are 60 designers and makers and these are the people who come up with the original ideas and the people who actually sit at the bench and make them. This is, you know, it's remarkable. You can come and meet these people, talk to them, commission a special piece, maybe just buy something. And it can be a little pair of silver studs. It can be the purchase of a lifetime. You can just, you can talk to everybody, see everything, really enjoy it. For us to come, can we just turn up or do we have to get a ticket? No, just turn up. Go, uh, the Cutlass Hall. Yeah, opposite the cathedral on the on the high street. Um, it's open, uh, or the show itself starts on Friday at ten o'clock in the morning. Mm. It's open till five o'clock on Friday afternoon, ten till five on Saturday, ten till four thirty on Sunday. Oh, lovely! You can make a whole uh, weekend out of it and go to see different people. And if you come, you um, it's ten pounds on the door. We mm. had to, we'd have to make a charge on the door, but that ticket will allow you to come and go as you want throughout the whole weekend. So you can come back, you can have lunch, you can spend the whole day, you can spend the whole weekend there talking to whoever you like. I like it. So you ha you brought something with us, and um, let me let me play a song because I want to keep everybody waiting. So we're gonna have a look at what you brought with us, and can we talk a bit more about you know how you began yeah. in this field as well? Absolutely. Thank you. So right now I am speaking to Brett Payne, who makes silverware, and he is one of the directors of Goldsmith North, an annual event at the magnificent Cutler's Hall, where 60-plus makers and experts are showcasing and selling their uh, work. So we're going to talk more just after Anne-Marie and Shania Twain. This is Unhealthy. Well, you're 
It's Anne-Marie and Shania Twain with Unhealthy. So right now in the studio we have Brett Payne, who is a um, a silversmith's... I hope I'm saying that right, Brett. But you're also the director of uh, Goldsmith North and uh, you guys have your annual event taking place from next week, Friday, where you're going to see yourself and 60 other makers and experts showcasing their craft and selling it as well. For So if you want to go and check it out, you definitely can. Um, Brett... I before I play that song, I mentioned that you brought something with us. So uh, can you please explain the two beautiful pieces of work that you brought? Well, what I thought I'd bring you, Celia, just to show you, and I know this is radio, so your listeners can't actually see it, but mm. I thought I'd bring you two silver spoons because Sheffield has always been famous for its flatware. Yeah. Um, this is what we make here, really, and we make it uh, better than anywhere else in the world. So the first one that I've brought you is a huge silver spoon, about three quarters of a metre long, forged, hammered by hand from a single piece of silver. Oh, wow. um, it weighs about a kilo and a half, and on the back of the spoon, the Sheffield Assay Office has put the 2023 Royal uh, Coronation Hallmark on it, um, which accredits the metal as being 925 sterling silver and made in Sheffield. Honestly, I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm just picking it up now and holding it. it it is beautiful. I can see my reflection in it. And I'm just thinking, do you know, I want to have somebody come to my house and then uh, <laughs> <laughs> say, do you want some sugar with your tea? Exactly. The well, thing about silverware, Sile, is is you know, yes, it's something that you can you can show your friends and you can enjoy using, mm. but it's a personal thing as well. You know, mm. that's a huge spoon, but you know, you, people can come maybe and buy a silver spoon, handmade in Sheffield, and eat their cornflakes with it every morning for the rest of their lives. And you know, it's just a personal th- piece of luxury that you can yes. enjoy. Yes. Oh, what um, what can you do? You know, if I wanted to use it, what can I use it for? Well, you could use it, couldn't you? To, 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 to serve stew or something yes. else, you know or, or, or something but also you know when the spoon gets that big the bowl of a spoon is a bowl in its own right you could use it as a fruit bowl or you could you know you could put your muesli in it and eat your muesli out of it with another spoon couldn't you i like it you also brought a, a much smaller one as well but again the craft is beautiful can you describe what that one is as well, well i please? thought i'd bring you two the other one is a small spoon it's like a little caddy spoon it's again made of silver and 18 karat gold uh, and it's it's really formed into the shape of a shape of a swan with the swan's head um, looking down into the bowl of the spoon um and initially, I made it uh, thinking that people would use it as a little caddy spoon for coffee or tea. Mm. People every now and again, I mean, I do, I have a little coffee scoop. It's only a plastic one that I just fill the cafetiere with. Mm. And you kind of think, well, that's exactly the sort of thing. I could have a little silver spoon to yes. do that, couldn't I? You know. um, so at the other end of the kind of scale from the large spoon, it's a small, little, delicate hand spoon. I like it. The story when uh, the song was playing, I love the story you told me about somebody who bought it and uh, they were just thinking about what to do. Yes, well, you know, I remember this lady looking at it. She really fell in love with, with one of them and said, I don't know what I'd use it for. I don't really drink coffee or tea, but mm. I'm going to buy it and I'll let you know if I find a use for it. And then she sent me an email with a little photograph, a little image on the email. It said, I found the perfect use. I keep my hearing aid in it on the bedside table every <laughs> evening. And I just thought, well, who would possibly ever design anything for that purpose but it fits it's it perfect. fits it's perfect yes now um i read here that um your technique is a uh, hot forging tell us about what that is well it, yes it, 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 silver is a material that is mostly worked cold mm. that, that is that it's you know the silver is cold when it's made when it's being worked um but here in sheffield um there has been kept alive a rather ancient technique of hot forging silver which is um i don't know really it's not really practiced anywhere else i don't yeah. think um and it's been kept alive by the flatware trade the making of spoons and forks and and what have you and it's still used uh, today I learned it from a company in Sheffield um, and so I make a lot of bigger items using forgings mm. which would be really hard work if you did it cold mm. so I do it hot Oh, I like it. Now, tell us again, if we wanted to come to Goldsmith North um, from next week, Friday, um, what can we do? 
So you can come. We have uh, 60 designer makers, and they are coming, uh, a, a large number of them from Sheffield, because we, we are a magnet for talent in this mm. city, but also from Penzance, uh, Margate uh, in Kent, and Glasgow in Scotland. We have one or two makers with a overseas background as well that wow. are bringing their talents to us. You can come. You can talk to all the exhibitors, uh, see their work, try things on, handle it. Um, there are going to be some demonstrations of some jewellery techniques. Ooh. The Sheffield Assay Office will be there. They are marking, it will be the start of them marking their 250th celebration year. Wow. Um, so you can, if you've always thought about hallmarks but never really understood them, you can come and ask and be, be told everything about hallmarks. And then you can go home with a piece of jewellery or a piece of silverware at the end of the weekend. That sounds like a weekend well spent to me. Thank you very much, Brett. That was Brett Payne there, one of the directors of Goldsmith North. And, um, oh, honestly, looking at this spoon is beautiful. I think I might get me one.